having just shifted into Dakshinayana or the southern run of the sun or the relationship between the planet and the sun has moved into the southern mode in the yogic culture. This is held as the sadhana pada, that means this is the best time to work upon yourself. And uh, the end of the month is Guru Purnima. Today, just about everybody has a day for themselves. There are pet food days, there are bubble bath days, there is a diabetes day. <laughs> of course, many other days of some significance. Of course, now there's a yoga day. But before all this happened, there was a day for the guru, <laughs> which is a Guru Purnima. <laughs> So that's at the end of this month. It's a, a very powerful Pavnami or the full moon night because the shifting of Dakshinayana and the first second, the first three Pavnamis till the equinox are of certain significance for those who are doing internal things within themselves. So this Guru Purnima is a reminder that For the first time, a being of immense possibilities and capabilities took this step of wanting to share, not by his own will, he was kind of conned into it. I don't want to go into the entire story now, but he was kind of done. That's why I said it's very courageous, but a little <laughs> So here we are. This part of the world has always been referred to as karma bhumi, that means a place to do things for yourself, where you can take your destiny into your hands. It's not that in other parts of the world you cannot do it, you can, it's just that here because of certain natural forces, there is an added support, an advantage which people made use of for millennia and built structures and instruments through which it could be enhanced. And in the same in the same aspiration to create a fantastic tool for people's evolution or hastening one's evolutionary process. Someone dreamt of the Analinga. But he was very smart, he didn't attempt doing it. I think he must have been looking for a fool who was willing to attempt such a thing <laughs> and he found one, things happened. Liberation is scary because you're trying to remove the walls of prison that you've been so used to. When I say so used to, it is not a question of one lifetime. There's a memory of entire evolutionary process in this. Within your brain, there is something called as a reptilian brain. It is that dimension of your brain which is always thinking how to fix a boundary. What about my security? The other part of the brain which makes you human being, which is known as cerebral cortex, 
is always looking how to expand, how to enhance, how to empower myself. But the reptilian brain is always thinking of how to build a wall around myself for my own safety and security. So in search of security, you're downgrading the evolutionary process for yourself. You need to understand that the walls of self-preservation are also the walls of self-imprisonment. The coming of the Guru Parnami means for the first time, for the first time, someone brought this dimension into human life that if you are willing, you can break all the boundaries that even nature is fixed, not just your psychological boundaries, not your emotional boundaries, even existential boundaries that nature has fixed, you can transcend all that. So, the Guru Purnima or the day of the Guru can also be remembered as the day of liberation because the possibility of liberation for the first time was opened up for human race.